Welcome to Table Knots. My name is Max. I'm Danielle. And today we are playing the next new digital hybrid legacy game by Lucky Duck Games coming to GameFound very soon. If this video at all interests you, check out the link in the description just for following the campaign on GameFound. There's a $5 discount when it launches. Cha ching In this digital hybrid legacy game, we're going to be paying dice to draft tiles to place in our 4x4 grid. All the while, we are attempting to gain the favor of the gods in the Pantheon and sway them to our side so we can eventually join them in the new Pantheon. We are going to start by rolling our pool of dice. Purple in a two-player game, we each have six dice. The higher the player count, the lower the amount of dice. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to roll them and then they stay what they are. That's it. So this is your ready pool of dice, of which I have 554-222. Five, five, two, two, two. Now, we are going to be using these dice to collect these tiles that will be placed here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open the campaign box for scenario two and see if it instructs us anything special, tells us who our gods are, and uh, we'll get this party started. The Great War. Just as Pythia foresaw, conflict was inevitable and war has erupted between the Greeks and the Vikings. The final spark was arrival of the two mighty warrior gods. War-loving Ares leads the Greek soldiers in the war against the Viking invaders who are led by the powerful hammer-wielding Thor. So we have Thor and Ymir on this side, and we have Ares and Gaia on that side, and we're gonna be trying to vie for their favor by completing their objectives. Ares wants the most symbols that look like him, essentially, in your 4x4 grid. Thor is the exact same. He wants the Viking symbols. Uh, Ymir wants the largest area of each specific, specific type of terrain, and Gaia wants the most areas of that specific type of terrain. Areas consist of a minimum of two tiles, and we'll explain how that works as we begin to build out our 4x4 area. These warlike gods are followed by famous smiths of both pantheons. War, as terrible as it is, also brings opportunities to those who can fuel its fires. Hephaestos, how do you say that? Hefe you should know. I feel like I should know, but I can't remember because it. Hephaestus. That's not how it looks, but that's how I. That's how I sound it out in my head. I can't remember. Hephaestus has opened his forge to help arm the Greeks and their supporters. On the other side, Wayland has brought his powerful artifacts to strengthen the Vikings. Take the large sticker dep depicting Hephaestus forge with location sticker six on it and apply it to its de designated space on the lower left corner of the main board. Oh my goodness, we're applying stickers to the main board? Hello? That is scary. Especially You did not see what I did to the rule book. Just did to the rule I book. butchered the rule book with the sticker because it's paper. I couldn't remove the sticker. The moment it the moment it latched, it was it was done. It was attached. So we're gonna sign that over there. Right here? Uh I hope. Yeah. Yep. Good luck. Take the small sticker sheet containing Hephaestus... I'm going to say that differently every time. Die stickers and place it onto the forge sticker where you just applied. Which you just applied. So this just goes there. We should note, all of these components, including the stickers, are prototype components and likely will change. Um, the stickers will likely be a little easier to manage. Not that they're hard. I'm just bad with Max stickers. Is, yeah, he's just incompetent. With stickers. <laughs> with stickers. How rude. Is that, is that good? I think you're overthinking it a lot. Just stick it on there. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. You want to help Max? No, I'm so <laughs> scared. I did it. I did it. <laughs> It's, that oh, right? that actually looks really nice. I did a really good job. Now that the stickering is out of the way, I think we're ready to proceed. You see now, everything takes shape as I predicted. War is upon us and you will be forced to take sides. Arm yourself properly, taking advantage of the godsmith's powers for a bloody strife lies before you. Fear not this conflict, for with it comes the opportunity for you to reach for the stars. The stakes are higher than ever and I foresee the first inevitable casualty among the gods. Apply rulebook sticker R7. Oh my gosh. So many things have changed. We, we did scenario one so we would be like ready for scenario two to showcase to you how this game works. And then- All the rules have changed. All the rules have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is the same. Because I trust you, I shall grant you this one glimpse even further into the future. For you see, this war will not be the end of this struggle of pantheons. Once the warfare ends, there will be another event of great significance, which we have not spoken of until now. 
you may have come across the places of sacred power scattered across the land. They will be of utmost importance, and you might do well to visit them beforehand. Go now, demigods. There's much ahead of you to explore. Okay, so coming into scenario two, Max, Maxine, I'm sorry, Maxine, as I am playing this lady who is now the Horde Unleasher, has seven favor across the board, um, five from Gaia and two from Ymir. And Danielle has one favor from Gaia and two from Ymir for a total of three. That's where we are coming into this scenario. What we're gonna be doing is Danielle starting, will take her dice, which we've already rolled, and these are now our ready dice. We're going to be adding them to the board and drafting the associated tile. You do that by using your dice to make a sum, whether that be through addition and subtraction or a combination of the both of the number associated with that tile. So if she wants an 11, she can do six, three, two, because that's 11. I got there, six, nine, 11. And she could take that 11 tile spending those dice. Those dice are there until she rests and recovers those dice. The same goes for acquiring these uh, little stickers or acquiring the uh, forgery, the dice changes essentially. So we're gonna now start playing throughout the scenario and kind of talk to you about it as we go along. Um, some of these are going to have stickers that we've placed on them in the first scenario that have changed things up. I don't think any of these first few tiles have any of them, but you'll see that there are sacred spots, there are certain faction symbols, um, and of course there's the different types of terrain. Think of it kind of like King Domino in the sense that you have to match the terrain up um, and you're drafting them, but we're also going for you know the most areas and the largest areas and the most symbols of that and the most symbols of this. So there's different kinds of objectives that we're trying to manage and handle all at the same time. Okay, are you ready to start, Danielle? I think so. Okay, what do you want to go with first? This one. You're taking five first, going for that quick sacred spot. I want to go with, I tell you what, I mean, Thor is cool, but I'm an Ares guy myself, but I could go with nine and secure a lot more. I'm going to go ahead and jump. Do you know anything jump. about Ares? No, but he looks like Pantheon from the game League of Legends, and I like Pantheon. Can I just note something real quick? Uh-huh. You just said Pantheon. I know. And you've been saying Pantheon. Pantheon. I know, but I think of it like a, I, a noun. Like, a, I'm sorry, like a, a verb, is that how I would say it? And a noun. Like, Pantheon, the god, is Pantheon to me. But I think it's just Pantheon. Okay, all the well. Words. But I mean, you already started the video saying just, Pantheon, so yeah. I guess that's how you have to okay. play it. Okay, so we both drafted our first dice, and it goes back to Danielle. Or our first tile, I should say. Each time you explore a tile. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna place five and two over there, meaning minus three. And that's my turn. That was probably not a good idea, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm taking a really long time to decide. You're going for the uh, the sacred spots right out the gate, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, three already. Okay. Um, I'll take this one. I only have one thing I can do. Well, that's not necessarily true. Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, you could have rested if you wanted. I'm going to rest next time. I figured as much. I'm going to go ahead and rest because there's nothing I can do with this loan too. So in doing so, I get to upgrade a dice and I need to go ahead and enter manually uh, location number six. The only reason I'm entering it manually is because the app is not fully fleshed out yet. There's no scanning yet. I just have to enter the number manually. Uh, there will be scanning. And if you haven't noticed by now, and I really like the way it looks, they've removed QR codes entirely you're scanning the icons that look differently. Hmm. Uh, and they wanted to do that to kind of preserve the artistic integrity of the That's game cool. and not kind of make people know, well aware that it's a digital game because there's yeah. QR codes everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so they're kind of moving that technology. I'd like to see that come into like Chronicles of yeah, Time and stuff too. I like the lack of QR codes. So uh, selecting number six and I am Maxine. Hephaestus Smithy. Hephaestus's arms are and armor are of the highest quality and are filled with empowering magic. So that's it. I just wanted to, basically the app is tracking how many times I visit that so I can earn that quest. Now I had two minus five there for a total of negative three, meaning I get to take a three, four or nine dice and I'm gonna go ahead and take the nine and slap it on to number, see this one has a three, six on it. This one has a one, three, five. Of course, I would put ones that already both have that on there. 
So this is a three six. So let's cover up the six with a nine. No, let's go big. Let's cover up the one with the nine. We're going big. Before you place new tiles down, I need to roll and decide what I'm doing. Six, six, three, three, two, one. I'm gonna go ahead with my six, three and claim this nine space. Now is it my turn? It is your turn. We're gonna fill in these spots. Ooh, location. Lots of sacred sites. You want the location, huh? Mm hmm So we're gonna scan that. I don't know if you're gonna get a benefit from that or if I am, just so you know. That's my thing. Location four, but I currently have favor. So we're gonna find out. Oh. Who are you, Danielle? Wait, I'm still trying to figure out where I wanna put it. Okay. I'll let you decide that real quick. Same spot. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ymir's Stone Circle. You return to the site where you once met the Viking fleet. They are now well settled, and the stone circle you built with them has become the most important Viking sanctuary in Greece. Danielle, welcome back, mighty one. Now, context here. In scenario one, you told the Vikings that they should build a stone circle atop that plane. And I helped. And I he super helped. Straight. You helped, and they did, and now they're thanking her. We are concerned about the current war, O oh wise Danielle. Our foothold in this land is still fragile, and even weaklings such as the Greeks could try to drive us out to the sea. But now that you are here, let us not worry about such things, for such is life, and war is a part of it. We shall organize a festival in our stone circle and ask our gods for protection. The festival is a great event, and rich sacrifices are offered in the center of the circle. In their prayer, the Vikings praise both you and the Nordic pantheon's favorite, Maxine and the gods listen, granting their blessing upon the two champions of the Viking people. Danielle, refresh or re-roll any number of your exhausted dice. This is not considered a rest action, though the empty tile spaces on the main board are refilled, so you can re-roll your four and refill this spot. Oh, look, this is the one with the 12. Oh, Hopefully you might get it. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Maxine, refresh any one exhausted die. I'm going to reroll this one because it's got the 135 on it. May as well. Woo! Three. And then it uh, does not refill because I didn't remove the other one. Okay. But wait. But wait, I there's also more. I got this. You already have that? One, two, three, four. Jeez. Bro. Okay, places of power. Do Danielle has it? fulfilled this quest. It's probably going to get trashed. Okay. This mysterious place radiating with magic. Do you want to read? No. Okay. Radiating with magic has attracted your attention. As you step into the circle of power, you see Pythia sitting on the ground meditating. Well met, Danielle. As I warned you, all of Greece is now engulfed in the fires of war. Just as mortal armies clash, Ares fights against Thor, and I think we may see one of them meet their fate very soon. Have you chosen the right side yet? No matter, this bloodshed will end either way, and its survivors will focus on worshipping the gods and building temples in their name in places of sacred power. Places like this one. When the time of peace comes, which pantheon will you worship here? In my history. Who do you think's going to be successful, though, is the question. I don't know, but I like history, and uh -huh. I like I like this side of history more then go than for this it. ancient side. So I'm... Nordic? Gonna go with... The Nords. As I thought, remember that regardless of who wins the current war, this conflict will continue. Your sympathies may yet change, young one. Here, take this amulet. You will find it useful when honoring the gods in their sacred places. Your actions have gained you one favor. And you get Pythia's amulet. Artifact sticker and add it to the designated space on your box. Pythia's amulet says, each time you explore a tile with a sacred spot, reroll any number of ready die. That's... Quite That's nice. Cool. Yeah. So basically, if she visits it first, she can reroll her entire pool of dice other than the one she used to go there if she wants, if she doesn't like what she got. Danielle, take the sticker bearing the worshiper and add it to the designated space on your demigod box, which this one, we're not sure where the dedicated space is, so we've just been adding it uh, right here, but I don't know. It doesn't make it very clear in the prototype. Well, that's gone. No one can achieve that anymore. Danielle, you ran away with that. I'm gonna go six, two, and claim tile numero eight. We're gonna put it just like that. Nice. Are you gonna do it right now? Oh, what's up? Can I do this? Yeah, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 100%. You don't want 15? 
because you could take 15 with your final one. I know, but I kind of like the idea of... Refreshing one dice yeah. every time. If you but use I... three or more, I mean, so it's less beneficial, probably. Okay, I'll do that. So you're doing that. Big okay. boy. Yeah, you're going, you're going hard. Um, three minus three plus one would give me minus two. No, nope, that's not how math works. One minus three would give me minus two if I wanted to go there. I'm trying to be an ally to Hephaestus, <laughs> however you say his name. Um, I am going to three, three, one, so I can get the six, which is actually quite beneficial to me. I'm gonna go get the tile that I can use right now. So I'm taking the six tile. So then for my turn, You're resting, I just resolve this. Resolving, we're gonna go ahead and scan that you did number seven which is Danielle. Wayland's artifacts are true wonders of craftsmanship. Owning one makes you far, far more powerful. And then you get that one because you had a grand total of 15. Now you can only have a maximum of three, three but if she wanted another one later, she is able to cover one up that she's already placed. So it's my turn. I only have one, but I do actually quite like the one tile on the board right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag it. Oh, there's the 12. I was about to, I'm going to use that. Okay, right great. I think, hopefully this, yes. <laughs> nice. Good job. Thanks. That's great. Uh, then, of course, I am going to rest here. And these get refilled. Okay. I'm just going to take one. Okay. And I'm going to take this one. Hmm. I'm gonna do six three and take the tile number nine. Would you take tile number seven? seven. We're gonna do six four and take tile number ten. Hmm, that does work, okay. I'm going to rest. Okay. So I'm gonna go here, which is one minus two equals one. Um, but then it's Danielle's turn before I rest and get that action. So you're making that a six? Mm -hmm. Okay. Six, 12, 13. Okay, so you are really going for it. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, you're yeah. trying to get that quest, the Wayland's Regret. I get it, I get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest, and in doing so, I need to scan number six once again. Maxine. Hephaestus arms and armor are the highest quality, same thing. It's just tracking what we do here. So I get a seven or a one through a one or six. I'm gonna take the one or six and place it uh, directly on the one on this dice. Okay, and then these will refill. Ooh, that's the tree. I got a three or six, a six. I'm gonna go six, 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 four, three, two. Okay, your turn. I'm gonna, I don't get that until I rest. You don't get it until you rest, correct. Okay, well I'll go ahead and use some stuffs. This one, five minus three equals two. Please. I wanna talk to the barbarians. So I'm gonna use six and two, go there and claim that eight tile. And then I am gonna scan number five, and I am Maxine. Barbarian settlement, you approach the location where you advise the barbarians to settle. You're greeted with great revelry. Welcome, O oh wise Maxine. You see that they live in peace with the land, prospering as hunters and gatherers, as, and gatherers and worshiping Gaia. You are hosted in the crude but spacious house of their leader, a giant of a man who welcomes you with a feast, during which a serious argument breaks out among the barbarians. Great one, you see that there is discord among our people. This land, although rich and good for us, is ravaged by war between the locals and warriors from the north, migrants just like us. Soon we will be forced to join this war, but we fear the gods of both sides. Which warrior god should we follow to victory? I am gonna recommend them follow the unyielding Ares. 
Au, 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 shot the barbarian warriors, banging their weapons against their shield. Shouting animal-like war cries, their war bands depart towards a nearby Viking encampment. Pick one opponent. They must apply two barbarian faction stickers over two... Ooh. That's rude. <laughs> over two Viking faction symbols on their map, covering them. If the selected opponent has one or no Viking symbols on their map, they must cover the symbol they have and add no farther stickers. I have two. So you've got to cover them both up with barbarian symbols. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Now it's your turn. I'm going to rest and resolve these. So you get the potion of endurance, and we're going to make sure we go ahead and scan that you've completed number seven. Danielle. Potion of endurance. I'm going to go with number nine here, which I am going to place... like so, and I'm gonna move my board up a little bit. Okay, and I get uh, number two for Maxine. Gaia's Holy Forest. You return to the same valley you once visited, overgrown with Gaia's Holy Forest. It remains a place of great natural beauty. At first you thought the Greeks had abandoned the place, but as you walk between the trees, you are welcomed by their watchmen. Is it really you, wise Maxine? Welcome back. It turns out the Greeks were still in the valley, but due to the Viking threat, oh my gosh, Luna is on camera. Hello, Luna. She's almost never on camera. It's because I'm down here. It turns out the Greeks were still in the valley, but due to the Viking threat, they had secluded themselves deep within their sacred forest. You humble us with your pre presence. We feel much safer now. We shall organize a great feast to celebrate your arrival, serving all the forest can provide. Refresh, re-roll any number of your exhausted dice. This is not considered a rest action, though the empty tile spaces are refilled. That works great. And these will get refilled. Now that I did the quest I wanted to do, I don't know what I should be going for. Because there's no way I'm going to get the most of any faction, because you have so many. <laughs> uh, you probably want to try and go for biggest and most areas. Not necessarily a faction. I mean, your most areas is looking good. One, two, three so far. I have one, two. These are kind of all together. Mm -hmm. You only have one mountain, of which I have two. But Let's if you start see. connecting those, you could get more. And you have one, two, three lakes. I only have one giant lake so far. So I would start focusing on most areas. Three minus one equals two. And what happens when you roll, when you pick up one of those? Um... Don't you get to re-roll all your roll ready any die? number of ready die. Yes, yeah, so if you don't want the four, 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 five. Ooh, six, twelve, two. Nice. I don't have anything really. I'm gonna go with four, four, and capture number eight. So it fills that section quite nicely. What you thinking? Just trying to figure out what I should be doing. This. Okay. That works. And I'm gonna re-roll one of my ready die, and that was extremely useless. Was it six to six? Two to six. Two to six, why is that useless? Because I could have used a two. Oh. Can't use a six. Why not? Because I can't play that. That's true. I can't play the 12. That's either. true. <laughs> 12 minus six equals six. That's, that's accurate. I'm gonna go six four two and capture number twelve. Whoops, that was a two. And we're just gonna play that over there. I don't even want Ymir, but I'm going for biggest, it seems, this turn. Or this round. I want my girl Gaia. I feel connection with her. Not with Ymir. I'm gonna rest. Okay. I am mm, not going to do that. I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to rest as well. These refill. Four, five, four, four, three, three, three. Anything particular striking your fancy here? Um, I think I'm going to... 
Okay. I wanted that one, but because you took it, that's gonna be hard to get 11 out of. No, it's not. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. This game makes you do math. It does make you do math, absolutely. Just so you know, Danielle already knows this, but the game finishes immediately once the last person has placed their last tile. So if I do end up playing my 14th and final tile, or 16th and final tile before she does, that's it. She doesn't get a chance to place any more. Okay, and on my action, I will be resting, meaning I need to say that I went to number six again. And I'm gonna take, I can take either the two, five, or the eight. Um, just for flexibility, I'm gonna take the two, five. We're gonna place it over the number two on this die. Okay. Um, and then these will come back to me and this will refill. Oh, can I move something? Sure. I really, I just put you this, just did it, it's yeah. fine. I meant to put this here. Okay, that's fine. You just did it. I was gonna get this one and put it here. Gotcha. And that allows you to roll ready dice, but you don't have any ready dice, do you? Yep, no. Six, four, three, two, one. And this allows me to be a one, three, or five. Um, I'll take the five. I have to take something, otherwise you're just gonna... We're gonna go four, three, take seven. And that'll fit right there. Come on, I mean, that'll work. I don't really, I don't really love it, but. No, 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 no. I don't, no. Think, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work, I'm just looking. That's the only one that will work for it, me. It doesn't work for me, okay. so you got lucky. I think I'm gonna end up taking six, which I can do. I need to take something, cause you're, you're done. I mean, I could try and get the magnifying glass, but like, there's no, there's no time for that. You're finishing this. That's not gonna work. That could work. If I did that, if I really just want the extra symbols. So we're just gonna go with this. Uh, that's number 10, I guess. Can I get there? Um, six, five, minus one. 10, we're gonna play that there. And then this is it, right? Okay. So we've, she filled out her four by four square. I did not, so I do not get another turn. That's it, plain out and simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit in scenario, and it's gonna start calculating things for us. So, Danielle visits Wayland to buy supplies for the upcoming battle. The troubled god sighs. That was the last one I can offer with my current resources. The rest of my precious artifacts lie on the bottom of the sea. When you arrived on these warm waters, a local sea god attacked us with furious anger, creating a giant wave that sank my ship, along with most of its cargo. Should you manage to find the wreckage and bring me the golden chest it holds, I shall reward you handsomely. I will also be able to offer many more artifacts. Here, let me show you roughly where my ship sank. Not only do you gain a favor, but you get to apply stickers 11, 12, and 13 to any water terrain on your map. Each sticker has to be applied on a separate tile, and you must follow the rules in doing so. Uh, if you did not have the spaces, you would apply them to my map, but I believe you will be just fine and have all the spaces you need to play those. So the stickering rules, which Danielle already knows, so she'll be okay to go ahead and start playing, but the stickering rules, uh, if there's already a face there, you cannot play a sticker. So like this top left tile of mine can only have one sticker in one spot. There may only be one location sticker per tile, so these have to be on separate Can I do tiles. All three, all three of them, yep. Um, they have to be on separate tiles because they're locations. Do you think this one counts as this one and this one? That's what I would say, yeah. The portals or the sacred spaces take up two sides. That's what she was just asking about. So this one right here, for example, takes up this spot and this spot, meaning a sticker could go there and there. Okay, and your final location sticker. Maxine, you visit Hephaestus Forge to pick up your order. The godsmith seems concerned. That's the last one I can offer you for now, Maxine, for my forge requires more heavenly fire. The Titan Prometheus stole much of it, and for that Zeus imprisoned him somewhere in the Caucasus Mountains. Ca Caucasus? Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus. Caucasus. What? what? Caca There's two S's. Caucasus? Whatever. What? Find him and bring him to me, along with the heavenly fire. Only then will I be able to run my smithy again. Here, take this map. The Titan should be chained in one of these three spots. 
I gain a favor and I get to apply eight, nine and 10 to any mountain terrain on my map. Each sticker has to be on a separate tile following the rules. Um, this one's a little trickier for me, actually. I will be able to do it, but there's not many spots here. And finally, I can place it right there, there, or there. Dink, dink, or, oh, no, I can't go there. There, there, or there. I'm going to place it on this one Why right here. Why can't you go there? Because there's only one location per map, or per oh. tile. Okay. Yep. Okay. You ready? Yep. Like everyone else in the land of Greece, Gaia and Ymir are preparing for the grand upcoming battle. Let us see which of you helped them most. Which player has the most plains areas? Definitely Danielle. I have Four. two plains areas. Which of you has the most water areas? Definitely Danielle. I have one water area. Four. Which of you has the most mountain areas? I have three. I also have three. You also have three, huh? Most symbols on those areas. Did you do the, oh, that's what you're doing now. It's a tie, yeah. So it's most yeah. symbols on that area, faction symbols, not locations, but faction symbols. I only have four. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, seven. So I would win that one just based off that alone. The single largest plains area, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four. Single largest water area, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the single largest mountains area, one, two, three. Six. The first direct clash of gods is upon us. An epic battle is sure to ensue. Which player has the most Greek faction symbols? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you eight, nine, ten. You don't need to count them. I have two. <laughs> Which player has the most Viking symbols? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would have had three if you didn't make me cover these up. <laughs> Two armies, led by their warrior gods, finally met on the field of battle. It was the bloodiest battle ever witnessed by the young humans. The Vikings' brute force was pitched against unyielding Greek tenacity. I salute you, Maxine. You are truly a master of puppets. Controlling both opposing armies, you are in position to stage the battle on your own terms, which will inevitably influence its outcome. The power is in your grasp, but you must be decisive. Which army shall be victorious? I want to set the stage for the Greek victory. The Greek forces, gathered by Maxine, took advantage of their superior numbers to slowly advance forward, pushing the Vikings up against a seaside cliff. It was in this desperate moment when the battle seemed already decided that the tide turned. Ares fell to his knees, felled by the powerful strike of Thor's hammer. The battlefield froze as all gazes turned toward the clash of the gods. The Greeks wavered, seeing such real, almost human fear in their gods' eyes. Triumphant Thor raised his hammer to deliver the final fatal blow when his chest suddenly exploded in a fountain of blood. Maxine had sunk her weapon deep into Thor's heart. Chris Hemsworth. I killed Thor? Let's freaking go. I didn't realize I was like partaking in the battle. I thought I was just setting the scene, like being a master of puppets. Thus ended the great battle. With Thor defeated, the Vikings fled the field in panic. The first war was over. Remove Thor's god card from the game, placing it back into scenario two's box. A masterful stroke, demigod. I never expected you to be capable of defeating Thor where I failed. I owe you, and thereby name you, the fate of Thor, and I find it only fitting that you should earn the spoils of your victory. By the right of the victor, take Thor's hammer as your own. Take the sticker bearing the title, The Fate of Thor, and add it to the designated spot, spot on your board. So I'm the Horde Unleasher and the Fate of Thor. And then also take the Hammer of Thor artifact and add it to the designated spot. This is gonna be my first, whatever these things are called. Artifact. Artifact. Each time you explore a tile with a Greek symbol, set any ready die. Set any ready die. Like set it to anything I want? Maybe. Take or keep the first player marker and store it aside. You shall be the first player in the next scenario. This concludes the two scenario preview. Thank you for playing Divinus. We hope you enjoyed the game to be continued. So that's where it's gonna leave off. This isn't the end. You haven't lost, but right now it stands at 13 favor for the gods and eight favor for the gods. I have eight favor among the Greeks and five favor among the Norks. 
and you have five favor among the Norse and three favor among the Greeks. And that's it. To be continued, uh, we cannot do any more. We have played the prototype to its completion and seen what this game has to offer in small terms. This cat, guys, this cat is, is all over me right now. So this is the Divinus prototype by Lucky Duck Games. Uh, we'll give some first impressions on this real quick. We've played each scenario once. We didn't play multiple scenarios before starting the video, just the tutorial scenario, and here we are. What are your thoughts on how the game plays? What do you think about it in general? I like it. I wish I was better at it. I think you did fine that time. I, I, def I, I definitely- I think it did better the first time. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I ended up doing worse, but I felt like I was doing Really? Better. I thought you did well. I thought you did well this time. I like it too. There's a, uh, I still don't a hundred percent understand the strategy, but like we're not, I get it. I get it. I'm just trying to figure out how much I need to be planning ahead. Yeah. It works out just fine. Um, but I'm not sure how much mental fortitude I need to be planning with to, to try and plan out my board way turns in advance. I'm mostly kind of going on the fly as it is now taking the tile. I need the most at that given time yeah. and then rolling with the punches basically, instead of really, really planning out. But with tiles being taken and flipped, I'm not sure that this is a game that you're gonna be strategically thinking four turns ahead. You're, you're gonna be trying to make sure you don't lock yourself out like you do in King Domino, making sure that, you know, if you have one tile remaining and you need it to be a perfect tile, like a hard tile to come by, where it's like mountain, fields, water, all in this particular like order. Like the last tile Like the I last got. tile you got. <laughs> um, that's gonna be difficult. So I understand that kind of strategy. I really like the dice rolling um, and the, the tile placement, the tile uh, selection. Purple dice. Purple dice. The components are actually quite good for a prototype, but I think the way that the dice work in that you're using them to equal a number mm -hmm. through any means of addition and subtraction or the combination of the two. I don't like having to do math. There is quite a bit of, I mean, not, not a <laughs> lot, there's not a lot it's of math, easy but math. it's easy, simple math, but you do have to be like, oh, I have a six, four and a three. How do I get to the number 12? Which you couldn't, I don't think in that <laughs> circumstance. Um, but you're trying to, to plan ahead and use your dice to reach tiles that you may not be able to uh, access with just one die. I really like the way that works. Um, in the second scenario, we added in the ability to unlock these uh, bonuses and upgrade our dice. I really like that. It's interesting because we both took very opposite paths uh, going probably for the quests. I, I feel like it kind of sets you up to do opposite paths. Because like, of the quests. If I was trying to do the same thing as you and you got there first, I would have absolutely nothing. So if I know you're going for something, yeah. I feel like I have to go for Yeah, but opposite. it allows you that competition if you so desire it. Yeah. So you could have gone with it with me because, I mean, there is... I just is... don't like to lose that bad. Sure. Yeah, I get that. I get <laughs> that. Um, I, I really like it so far. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to see when more gods and stickers and things happen. Uh, but the gameplay loop is fun. I genuinely enjoy the way it works as far as uh, pulling out the new tiles, getting them, rolling the dice, adding stickers. Those are all things that appeal to me. I like dice rolling games, I like tile placement games, I like legacy games. I like uh, these, uh, what are they called? Not app driven, but they call them- uh, Hybrid. Hybrid, hybrid games. I like that too. Uh, obviously two scenarios in legacy, we see where it's going. Mm -hmm. We can understand how it's impacting the game based off the places that we go and we're getting small benefits for having affected the game in the scenario one. Uh, but we don't have any real idea how the legacy version is gonna pan out, if it's any more than that, or if that's all it's gonna be. But I enjoy I it. I kind of wonder though, like, cause I feel like I kind of really sucked until the very end mm -hmm. there. I wonder if it would be easy to like, suck really hard the first couple scenarios and just not be able to come back from it. But it yeah. does kind of handicap like where you get to go first and yeah, Things and like we that, have no but, clue, obviously. Yeah. We've only played two scenarios. It's not like either of us did so poorly that we couldn't come back from anything. Um, but I mean, I, I suppose I could see that. Um, I mean, you could spend an entire game. Two oh my gosh, Catception. Look at his tail, you can't see anything. <laughs> it's like auto-focusing on his tail too and getting us out of focus. Thank yeah. you, Draco. Um, I wonder if you could spend like a whole game just upgrading your die and stuff like that. I mean, it's possible possible you could spend an entire mm -hmm. game almost just upgrading your die and not even like you finish the game with like five tiles mm -hmm. and you guarantee yourself that you've lost but Maybe moving next into the time. next time you have more powerful dice that are going to allow you to do more stuff i don't know it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out in the full scenario i believe this is a 12 chapter campaign 
and then there will be a way to just play the game that you've created after that there's still going to be a standalone game once the campaign is over That's cool. um yeah so it's not just you know 12 scenario campaign and you're done but we've only seen the first two scenarios if this game interests you in the slightest like we said in the beginning of the video uh, check out the link in the description and go to the game found page just by following the campaign you get a guaranteed five dollars off when they launch so even if you don't expect to do it go ahead and do that just in case you might uh, if you're interested in chatting about this game, join our Discord, also link in the description. We are uh, friends of Foster the Meeple over there. We've actually just started up playing Oath. Uh, we're gonna try and coordinate that among our Discord to kind of have a Discord chronicle. We'd love to have you there. And if you're interested in supporting the channel and allowing us to do more awesome things in the future, check out our Patreon, link in the description as well. Uh, we'd love to see you in the Discord and chat with you there. And we appreciate all your support. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.